In this video, I'm going to show you how I turn this plain, boring bag into a post-apocalyptic costume piece. Let's get started. Alright, let me show you what kind of materials I got set aside for this. Let's see here. So I've got some canvas material from a pair of pants I set aside from another project. Um, I've also got some, looks like polyester, kind of green fabric here. It's really thin, so it's definitely not going to be like a structural component or anything like that. Um, I've also got these belts here. It's like an old leather or synthetic leather belt. I really like that buckle though. It's going to be a central part of it. Um, and then this military cargo belt here. I've also got some suspenders it looks like. Everything here I've either salvaged from the garbage or I picked up at a yard sale or something. So nothing here is brand new with the intention of using for this project. It's all legitimate salvage. I found this hose clamp on the side of the road. I was taking a walk one day. This explains why it's all beat up. Uh, I found these in the trash. They're, uh, looks like some sort of a sensor. Pulled the wires that were in there out. Um, then I've got this. I found this at a secondhand store. It's, a, it's like an old grenade pouch. A leather baseball glove. I already cut a little bit out of it for another project. You'd be surprised how much crud is actually inside there. All the padding and stuff. Um, then I have this piece of metal I found. Might be an interesting component. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. And then I've also got some different detail pieces that will kind of come in towards the end. I've got some keys, shell casings, it's like an old brooch or something. I'm not really sure what that is. If it's valuable, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, some wooden buttons. U.S. Army pin. These are some, looks like earrings? Yeah. Um, then I'm primarily going to be locking everything together with uh, nuts and bolts and zip ties. Because honestly, I suck at sewing. When I learn to sew, I'll put some of that kind of stuff in here. But for now, I'm just going to do it the easy way. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to actually distress the fabric material making the, up the bag. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take basic tools like a knife or a wire brush and I'm going to distress the edges. Now this is a functional item. I don't want to completely destroy it because I want to be able to carry things like my sketchbook and other, you know, whatever with me. So I don't want to completely destroy the bottom or the seams. I want to keep those intact. I'm definitely going to scratch up these metal parts here to make them look like they've been worn a little more than they are. Um, definitely around the top areas. Um, and then I'm also going to dry brush some different paint on there. I've got some brown acrylic here. And then I might try this. Uh, Multi-service premium antique wax. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Uh, first I'm going to test it inside the bag or on the bottom somewhere where you're not going to see it. Just to kind of get an idea if it's going to work or not. Because I don't want to go and paint the whole bag and then ruin it, so to say. Try this brown acrylic first. So I got a stiff one inch brush. Not usable really for anything else, but this is perfect for this application. There we go, get a little 
most of that paint out of there. So let's try it right about here. That work. It's kind of like chocolate. <laughs> Let's try the other stuff. Let's see, we've got premium antique wax. It's got more of a watery texture. right into the fabric so that could be useful for if you're wanting to leave like dark stains in the fabric let that dry and then come back and look at it later okay so I didn't particularly like the way the brown it's actually burnt umber was looking on here so I'm gonna try some just Mars black It. All right. You know, actually, both of those together looks pretty cool because the burnt umber looks sort of like dirt, and then the black is just like grimy and gross. Yeah, so I think I'll actually use both of those together. Okay, here's what we'll do. I want to focus and concentrate, especially on the places where I've distressed it with these little holes, because those will collect dirt a lot faster, and they'll hold on to that dirt and that grime. So I'm going to make sure that those actually have a little more in them. So kind of concentrate on there. Really focus on the edges to where everything is going to be collecting. spots because they're raised up so they'll collect dirt and grime a little faster. see the difference right away that looks a lot more aged than if you come down here where I haven't touched it looks a lot newer and cleaner let's keep going I'm not really worried about this area because nobody's gonna see it but I do want to get this trim edge here taken care of so when it's just sitting there you know a piece might open up like that or something while I'm using it I want it to look consistent. Okay, so this bag looks like it's been through a lot already. It's got some distress marks and then I've painted most of it with black. Now I'm gonna put some more of the burnt sienna on there and add some dirt effects.
Okay, so I got the fabric of the bag distressed and painted the way I want it. Now I can uh, add the other design elements. I've sort of mocked it up, so I'll show you what that looks like. So over here I've got this leather belt that I want to wrap around the whole bag. I've actually cut it in the middle, so I'm going to fill this bag with stuff that I plan on putting in there to kind of get the relative size. That way I, when I attach it, it lands in the right spot and it doesn't actually hinder storage of the bag because right now it's laying down flat and it can expand to about three, three inches maybe, two and a half. So if I put it on there now while it's flat, it won't fit right. Um, and then I've taken this canvas fabric here and kind of wrapped it around the closure, the, the flap of the bag. And then I've also taken this military belt. And I'll use the military belt to kind of sandwich in these, uh, I don't know what these are, I don't know what you call them, let's call them tubes. These tubes in here. It actually uh, reminds me of Han Solo's costume from Star Wars. If you look closely at his jacket, you'll see something very similar to this. And actually, they're CO2 cartridges from like a BB gun or something. That was kind of neat when I noticed that. Um, and then I also plan on putting part of this baseball glove kind of down here. And you'll notice in here it's got some like stamps. Professional model, Johnny something, Wal Walter, Walter. And I'm not sure what that says. But it's a really unique design and element, and then I want to take these shell casings and kind of put them in there, kind of like that. Might be a unique idea. Not sure if that'll work or not. Kind of mock it up and see. And then I also want to put this uh, pin somewhere. Not sure where. It's kind of just like a final touch on it. And I might try to put these somewhere. I don't know, I'll figure it out as I go along. Okay, so unfortunately the bolts that I have are not long enough to go through both pieces of belt. So what I had to do was make six holes instead of two, give it more structural integrity, and I'm going to use these black zip ties to improvise. Luckily, this is on the side of the bag that nobody will see when it's being used, so it won't affect the final construction or the appearance. Okay, so now to attach the belt to the bag, I'm going to put a couple holes in the canvas itself and then run a zip tie through it.
Okay, as you can see over here, I've bolted this together to form this first layer of fabric here. So I'll give you a close-up. Take my bolt, my washer, put them together, and then I feed it through the fabric. Put a washer on the other side and a, a nut. Sometimes you have to pierce the fabric again, open it back up. All right, once I'm happy with where everything is at, I'm going to tighten it down with a socket and a screwdriver. Next I'm going to put this belt on, so I'm going to have to trim it down, but I'll use these rivets here, or grommets, to center it because they're always the exact same space apart. So I'll put that in the center of this leather belt here to measure.
Now that I've gotten everything bolted together and zip tied, I'm going to do some final levels of distressing and add a few more detail pieces. But I'm pretty proud of the way this turned out. That looks pretty cool. Alright, let's finish it up. Looks like I'm done. 
I actually took those red uh, earring things off. They just don't fit very well. But I'm pretty surprised at the, the way this turned out. It turned out pretty well. I've done a couple of projects similar to this, but they didn't turn out as well. It's really simple, just uh, bolts and zip ties. Anyway, well let me know what you think down in the comments. Bye for now.